this boy was poisoned by his own father. Apparently his father really needed money and so he took this as an opportunity to cash out a life insurance policy that he had on his son. Bro, what? Yo, do you understand how wild that is? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drew Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have some craziness. Like, when I say craziness, this, like, I, Halloween for me, I don't believe in Halloween. So I feel like it's just, like, demonic and it's all about dead people and ghosts and, like, all this, all this, all this bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? And there's reasons for that. Because where Halloween comes from, I'm not going to get into that. But Halloween comes from, it's not a good, good reason that Halloween is a thing. I, I don't want to talk about that now, but we finna see... Some crazy things that actually happened on Halloween. And y'all know, I don't know if y'all watch Freddy, uh, what's his name? Michael Myers, you know what I'm saying? He was on Halloween. We just watched, me and Destiny just watched that movie the other day. Um, and that, that happened on Halloween. He was catching mad bodies on Halloween. But there's a bunch of like real life stuff that have happened on Halloween. And that's why Halloween is Halloween. So we finna watch this. We gonna see what the heck they talking about. Um, yeah, all I'm saying is if you celebrate Halloween, bro, I'm praying for you, my guy. I'm praying for you. But... Let's hop right into this video, man. From alien news stories to mysterious disappearances, here are your top 10 terror. Okay, Melissa. Hey, what the? How did you just go throw an ad at me? Off rip. Bruce. Like, just off rip, they threw an ad at me. Fying events that took place on Halloween. In our number 10 spot, we have War of the Worlds. On Halloween Eve in 1938, people thought that aliens had come to Earth. This story is nuts. In 1938, way before movies and TV shows and radio programs became what they are today, 12 million people tuned into a radio program on CBS radio that declared that Martians have invaded New Jersey. <laughs> it was a radio- Jersey, that's where I'm from. Aliens, it's, it's some aliens out there. I ain't going to get into that either. You know what I'm saying? A play called War of the Worlds by Orson Welles, who acted in it and wrote it. Very few people knew it was a play, though, and it created mass hysteria. It is predicted that one in 12 people believed it to be real, approximately 1 million were terrified, and ran out of their homes and panicked over an alien invasion. <laughs> but honestly, though, that must have been really scary to hear and not know what to do. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that. We just saw the video. Why would, why would you tell me if I'm enjoying it? We just saw one clip, Melissa. Like button because it really helps us out. In our number nine spot, we have a fascist celebration. On Halloween in 1922, Mussolini, the Italian pol- The heck is this? What is this creature over here? What the fuck? politician of the time threw a party to celebrate the growing power of the fascist party. This happened in Rome with thousands of men who dressed in black shirts, which was a part of the party's uniform. The pictures are insane to see. I've said to myself that if I ever find myself in a place surrounded by hundreds or thousands of people all gathered for the same purpose or person, then I will ask myself, do I think like everyone else here? <laughs> Have my thoughts been manipulated in some way to appeal to a core basic human Melissa ain't funny She's laughing at herself And nothing's funny about what she just said Need that we all need Which is to be accepted and to belong I'm sure the answer to the last question Will be yes, let's be real <laughs> Apparently it was this day that Mussolini Violently took control of the government Which led him to becoming prime minister And then the dictator This event became known as the March on Rome So yeah, this is definitely some Pretty crazy history for the Italians And certainly a terrifying event In our number 8 spot we have A terrifying prediction Apparently American serial killer David Berkowitz predicted a killing while inside the correctional facility that he was in and no one of course paid attention to it and thought he was making up a story. Typical, but also he was a prisoner which I'm sure most assumed to be clinically insane so it makes sense why they wouldn't have listened. They didn't realize until Halloween morning in 1981 when two people named Elizabeth Platzman and Ronald Sisman who were found dead in their Manhattan home brutally killed. Apparently Berkowitz described their apartment perfectly and said that a cult had carried out these killings. No one was in a cult. He hired a hit from inside the jail. 
He he didn't predict nothing. He hired a hit from inside a jail. No one was ever able to find out who killed these people, so many believe Berkowitz's prediction to be true, and believe that probably this cult was very powerful, and that's why no one was ever found to be connected to the killings. I'm sure that happens way more than we think. In our number that 7 spot, we have Nima Louise Carter. In 1977, on Halloween night, a 19 month old by the name of Nima Louise Carter was stolen from her bed. The windows were locked, and so the parents believed that whoever took her was hiding in her closet. Almost a month later, she was found dead in a refrigerator in an abandoned home. Before this incident, two twins from nearby went missing and were found in a refrigerator, and they were believed to have been taken by a woman that ended up being Nima's babysitter. So eventually with this new evidence that This the babysitter? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. If y'all hire a babysitter that look like this, I can't even see her face for real, but I know she looks scary. If you hire a scary looking babysitter, you 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 gotta know that she finna steal your babies. Cause I'm just saying, bro. The babysitter by the name of Jacqueline Rubido was given a life sentence in prison for the killings. In our number six spot, we have Orange Socks. This is a pretty wild story, but a little gruesome, so brace yourself. A woman in her 20s was killed on Halloween night in. Bruh, stop hitting me with these ads, bruh. What is this, Bruce Gotham? I don't want to play Gotham. Gotham. 1979, she was found severely injured and naked, but the only thing that was on her was orange socks. The police couldn't identify her, so that's how she was given the name Orange Socks. She was found just off of Interstate 35 outside of Georgetown, Texas, where it's possible that a notorious serial killer possibly was. I am referring to Henry Lee Lucas. He eventually confessed to the crime, stating that the girl's name was Joni or Judy. He was sentenced to death for it, but apparently, he then retracted the confession in order to get his death sentence suspended. He was apparently notorious for admitting to crimes he didn't commit, so whether he did so or not still remains a mystery. In our number five spot, we- Who admits to crimes they didn't do? He is crazy. But I guess that helped him in the end, because then he could say, oh, I killed her. Oh, never mind. I didn't kill her. It was somebody else. Like, what? We have poisoned candy. Okay, this one might haunt your dreams a little, or at least make you weary about the candy you may eat going forward. There was a young human that went trick-or-treating one Halloween night, and after getting home and beginning to eat his candy, he passed out and died. He of course ate a piece of candy that was poisonous, and that's what killed him. But that's not the worst part. Apparently, this wasn't a fluke. This boy was poisoned by his own father. Apparently his father really needed money, and so he took this as an opportunity to cash out a life insurance policy that he had on his son. Bro, what? Yo, do you understand how wild that is? He, he killed his son. So he could claim the life insurance money on his son? Like, imagine you have life insurance. Like, I'm, okay, what does he need that money for, first of all? Because no car, no house, no watch, no no nothing is going to replace your kid and make you not think that you had a fair trade. You traded your kid for whatever you wanted that money for. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that important that you needed the money for? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, 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 that's sick. Yeah, that is definitely bone chilling. I'm gonna be weary of the candy I eat for the rest of my life going forward now. <laughs> in our number four spot, we have the Hilton Surprise. On Halloween morning in 2004, a Hilton employee in Key West, Florida experienced the surprise of her life when she found a newborn dead in a garbage bag. Probably the most horrific thing I have ever heard. It still had its umbilical cord. But that's so sad, bro, that people really be doing this stupidness, bro. That's so sad. Hatched. Its mother was most likely a pregnant woman that was seen walking into the hotel with three men earlier that morning. A witness overheard moaning in the bathroom and asked if the woman was all right. All three of the males waited outside of the bathroom for her, and one of them even called out to her, calling her Samantha or Sonia. That's what the witness said. The woman was in the bathroom for about 40 minutes before she and the three men were escorted out by security. She apparently was holding her stomach in pain, but told the guard that she had been partying too hard the night before. She and the men were never found. 
In our number three spot, we have the tragedy on ice. On Halloween night 1963, in a skating rink in Indiana State Fairground Coliseum, Indianapolis, a tragedy occurred around 11 p.m. that night. It was apparently the last skating routine of the show when the concession stand exploded and the floors caved in, which caused a crater. Gas had been leaking from the concession stand, and that is what led to the explosion. 74 people died and 400 were injured from the event. It was said that the aftermath was a nightmare to see. I can only imagine. In our number two spot, we have Stephen Damman. It was Halloween in 1955, and a woman by the name of Marilyn Damman took her son Stephen and her daughter Pamela to a supermarket in East Meadow, New York. She left her son and daughter outside while she was shopping. It was the 50s, so I guess that was normal then. Comment below That's if not. you were alive then and can confirm that this was normal, because it doesn't seem normal. <laughs> Especially if one of them is still in a stroller and Steven was. When she finally left the store, she discovered that they were missing. She eventually found her daughter, but she never found Steven. Apparently during this time, it was common that people were taken by people that couldn't procreate and they were given different names. Even still today, a body hasn't been found and so it is believed that Steven is out there somewhere just living someone else's life. Whoa. If you know in that day and time they was out here stealing kids, why would you leave, leave your kid outside? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you leave your kid outside un, 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 un attained? What's attended? Stupid. Imagine. In our number one spot, we have Harry Houdini's death. Okay, I know what you might be thinking, Melissa. Harry Houdini's death is not terrifying. No, no, I suppose not. I mean, perhaps for his family, it might have been terrifying. But what could potentially be terrifying about his death is the possibility that he was actually magical. Out of the 365 days in a year that he could have passed away, of course it's on Halloween. The Day of the Dead, the Witch's Holiday, a magical night. I don't know, is this a coincidence? Possibly, but I think think not. Some people think he was killed by the spiritualists, an organization he would apparently try to debunk, but there's seemingly no proof of this. I'm Melissa Malati and I hope that but you what have. You didn't tell me what happened with the Houdini, Houdini guy. <sighs> Come on, bro. I know who I, I thought Houdini died when he was trying to Houdini died when he was trying to do like a, a act or something like that. Like the act where he was chained up and he was underwater or something like that. I thought that's how he died. Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. This ain't really into the knit and grit, like how Halloween started. She just really talked about a bunch of events that happened on Halloween that just so happened to happen on Halloween. This craziness, you know what I'm saying? But let me know in the comments. Do y'all believe in Halloween? Do y'all know why Halloween is called Halloween? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. But before you dip, I'll make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. And I highly suggest you watch this video right here. I went on Omegle and it was hilarious. Straight comedy, straight entertainment, straight gas. You know what I'm saying? So click that link right now and watch that video if you want to laugh. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.